arm. This is a NASA spacecraft, and this is my buddy Neil. Neil and two of his friends uh, will be sent to the moon, and for each day they spent there, they will get $50,000 each. This is actually the hardest challenge we have ever filmed. Besides fighting a fire, fuel problems, and maybe even shortcoming of food, these three guys need to work together to survive as long as possible. Stay tuned to the end of the video, and now a word from this video sponsor, Gulf Oil. So, about a week ago, it finally happened. NASA has been working on some top secret real life sci fi shit. Apollo 11 finally escaped the Earth, like how this morning my fresh semen escaped my penis after an hours long edging session, and people are going wild. And even though I admit the site is pretty spectacular, never have I seen so many people get horny at the sight of a planetary satellite. I mean, the moon is basically like a celebrity at this point, and we're all the kid that never wants to wash their hands again after Jack and the celebrity offer something. And not only that, but people are already drawing Rule 34 images of the moon. I mean, it's just plain silly. So yeah, that's about it. See ya. The craziness of humankind is astonishing every time you see it. And it is no wonder people on the internet started satirizing this large progress in human colonization now even spanning into space. This footage of the astronauts conquering space for the first time sparked numerous memes. The idea has been on YouTube for years, and now it has finally happened. What would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so did you see they went to the moon? Wait! They went to the moon? Wait, how does that even work? Okay, dude, so you mean to tell me that we went out there in space and successfully landed on the moon? That is literally so crazy. That is literally the craziest thing I've ever seen. Hello everyone and welcome back to Slop Live. Today we got ourselves a new situation. Let me explain it in Fortnite terms. So these guys took control of the battle bus and hit an impossible 50 bomb. Or so many people think. The creators of Fortnite Epic Games confirm it's true. So that was it, thanks for slopping by. Uh, my name is Buzz Aldrin and I was the second contestant in Mr. Beast's Moon Survival Challenge. In many ways this was a survival. We had to go several days without being able to go to the bathroom, since Mr. Beast announced that the spacecraft was quote, out of the zone. We also got oxygen tanks that weren't able to last as long as we expected. We had to literally hold our breath for several minutes before inhaling just so that we could get enough air to breathe throughout the whole challenge. It was actually one of the most inhumane challenges I've ever participated in. The moon landing will go down as one of the only things to happen on the moon. And it seems that every single time we hear about it, the worse it sounds. The first news came when we realized that there weren't actually any aliens or communists on the moon. And now suddenly, Buzz Aldrin comes out and reveals the truth behind Mr. Beast's challenge. Now, I don't know about you, but I think this might be the end of Mr. Beast's career. Not only did he capitalize off of a fucking planetary satellite, he also did not treat his contestants in a humane manner. I don't know man, the whole thing's just a bummer. Welcome back to Slop Live. So basically, Mr. Beast has finally been exposed as a complete fraud. 